concrete essentially hemp herd which is the inner woody core of the hemp stock with the lime based binder and water thousands of years old and what it makes is a mold resistant pest resistant rot resistant and fire resistant ultimate uh, in indoor air quality, carbon sequestering construction infill that self-regulates uh, vapor permeability and self-regulates humidity, uh, self-regulates thermal performance. In hempcrete, obviously, it's an infill. If we could go back and rename hempcrete, we would. We'd call it hempfill because it gives people the misimpression that hempcrete is a substitute for concrete. And actually, it's not. It has to be above ground, daylight. It's a living, breathable wall system that cannot touch the earth. I think what the most interesting thing about hempcrete um, is that when we're talking about a climate such as we're here in Portland, we don't actually need to include a heating or a cooling system. Ultimately, we could save the money in not installing those systems, but if we did, they could be less strong systems, particularly when we get into HVAC and larger builds. And then, of course, we save the money and the energy from not having to use those systems. So we're talking about a smart income home as well. Of course, when we talk about modern day construction we're talking about buildings that last maybe 50 if you're lucky 80 years more than 50 percent of our landfills are actually filled with construction waste from these basically temporary homes a 40-year home is a temporary home when we talk about hempcrete we're saying these homes will last three to five hundred years perhaps even longer and that's not a guess that's not an estimate because hempcrete is new again this is thousands of years old we have existing hempcrete structures in japan in india so ultimately what we're talking about is a home that is durable and frankly reusable and recyclable. It's truly the ultimate building material. There's nothing better than hempcrete.